Hi everybody, today I want to make a tutorial video about the 1.12 double speed world eater. So this no longer works in movement 13, but I got some requests to show tutorial and I promised to do so. Uh, so that's why I'm still making a video about something that doesn't work in the latest Minecraft version. Reason why this doesn't work anymore is that it uses 1.12 and lower TNT duping, which got fixed. 1.13 we could have used a different type of TNT duping and make a similar machine, it's also got fixed. In the latest snapshot there's still TNT duping in the game, but you can't use rails for it anymore and it's probably not feasible to use TNT duping for anything really. But technically it's still in the game. Alright, in case you just stumbled upon this video and don't know what's going on, there's a link in the description uh, directing you to the showcase video. So basically we have a machine that completely removes the landscape. So we have a TNT tubing array at the top that goes right and left and the stations is pushed down one block lower so you can take out the blocks on the lower layers and at the bottom with water and magma sweepers that take care of the remaining liquids. Player only needs to remove the obsidian manually, otherwise the machine would get stuck. But it's all explained in the showcase video. Before you can use the machine, you also need to prepare the area a little bit. So you need trenches on all four sides. You can also use uh, TNT tubers for that. Um, so here we have a 14 wide trench on the main side. Also on the opposite side where we also have some stations. It's also 14 wide trench, as you can see here and the two side trenches are three wide. Um, the size of the machine yeah, is adjustable. Usually we make either a 300 by 300 perimeter or a 530 by 530 perimeter. And that's all working. Technically you could also make it larger, but probably you'll run into lag issues. All right, then we start building this machine, this trial. Um, I start building with the logic part, which is really lean. It's actually just uh, this part here, and yeah, the, the instant line going up, activating the top part. It's really lean. Rest is actually just repeating pattern over and over again, so it's actually not that much, uh, not that difficult to build. So let's start with the most important thing. We need to start building this obviously in the right spot. So you need to go over eight blocks from this side wall. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then three blocks from this side wall. So if you use the yeah, TNT machine and don't have a flat wall on the side, then just use the imaginary perimeter boundary, I guess. All right, so here we have the anchor point now. And now I need to go up, depending on the highest block in the area that it will be mined, just go one block higher and place an upwards facing sticky piston and a redstone block next to it. So I just build it up for the tutorial here, but this is in fact the correct position. So here we have redstone block, sticky piston. Now we need two slime blocks and another redstone block here, another piston here and an observer detecting piston head. Three slime blocks like this. Then we add two more slime blocks here, an upwards facing observer, also an upwards facing sticky piston again. Then one, two, three, four slime blocks. Now we put a trapdoor on top of the observer and here we place another observer. Now we can also place a downwards facing sticky piston and add a redstone block here. Then just go up one, two, three, four blocks add a sticky piston, we remove this again, two slime blocks, sideways facing observer, and here a normal piston. Next you want to add an observer here on the side, pointing into a slime block, there's another sideways observer on top, sticky pist uh, normal piston facing downwards, and here a sticky piston facing upwards, another slime block, and here a redstone block. Right, next step we need a downwards facing normal piston next to the redstone block. And now we actually built the flying machines. So the first one is slightly different than the other ones. So here we have a slime block and then four slime blocks below. 
here we can add a normal piston and an observer and then two glass blocks for example and we add another observer here all right then we can also add another observer pointing into the last slime block sticky piston next to it now we need one two three four five slime blocks and here we need piston facing to the side and pistons on the opposite direction then observers point into the last slime block and the fourth slime block and you add another slime block here on top okay then you can also add the sticky piston here all right so this is the first flying machine it was slightly different here on the left side um, but i'm gonna build another one which will be the pattern for all the remaining flying machines so first of all we need again a piston facing over it's basically one two three blocks away then again five slime blocks here piston the opposite side and one towards the middle again observers at the fourth block and the first block pointing into the slime add another slime block here you can add the sticky piston and again one two three four five piston 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 and then observer observer and another sticky piston and the additional slime block here all right and yeah build this as often as you need in order to cover the full distance the next repeating part is the pushing station here on top all right so we will continue here at the redstone block so first of all you need to get two glazed terracotta blocks and place it below this redstone block this stops the flying machine because it would exceed the push limit this sticky piston can't pull this close anymore because yeah there's the block now in the back then we continue we place a sticky piston here at three slime blocks and here we have a downwards facing normal piston that pushes the slime block down we have this piston the sticky piston attached power this one with the observer here from the side then here's another downwards facing observer pointing into a slime block on the side we have a, another piston attached that pushes this sticky piston down then add another slime block and a redstone block all right now we just need to bridge the gap in order to push the next flying machine down so we add another instant repeater Looks like this, down facing piston, server on the side, then one, two, three, redstone block, and now it repeats again. So again, we need this downwards facing piston next to the redstone block, in the back, two terracottas, then sticky piston, one, two, three, slime block, downwards facing sticky, uh, normal piston, observer, server, and so on. So this is now. Uh, just repeating every flying machine will be pushed down by this contraption at the top in case your yeah, flying machines here at this end don't line up uh, with the yeah, perimeter size then you can always make the flying machines smaller as well so you could cut off this part here and also maybe a part on the other side uh, this is also a possibility just make sure you got the right push limit so the flying machine is still stopped by the terracotta in the back push limit is 12 blocks all right now let's continue on the other side it's probably best the stations on the other side are actually almost identical just a bit mirrored to this side here and it's important that you also go one block lower because the first thing the machine does if you activate it is yeah going one block lower and then flying over so i use those glass blocks here to visualize um, where to yeah, start on the other side so again this was our anchor point here this extended sticky piston and we just go over and one block lower we place another sticky piston which this time is not powered 
Uh, what's also important is that this one is nine blocks away from the, from the wall. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And three from the side wall. One, two, three. All right, I'm just gonna build it up. Move it over there again. So the sticky piston. Then again, slime blocks, redstone block. Another sticky piston facing away from the perimeter. Then observe detecting piston head. And now we also need slime blocks here. And another upwards facing observer, trapdoor, and observer. Then upwards facing sticky piston, downwards facing sticky piston. And slime blocks above. Again, a redstone block. Then a gap of four blocks. One, two, three, four. Sticky piston. Two slime blocks again. Observer. And downward facing normal piston. Now we can continue right away by placing an observer again here, pointing to a slime block. Here we have another observer on top, powering the piston on the side. Again, slime blocks and a sticky piston, then one, two, three, one over and redstone block. All right, here we again have a downwards facing normal piston, sticky piston facing up. Then we go over again, one, two, three. We also need to push down all of that stuff again. So that's why we have another piston facing downwards, server here on the side, powering it. And it's quite similar again, downwards facing observer. Slime block, and this time we have the terracotta directly below, but again, a normal piston here on the side. Then let's go over by one slime block and add another redstone block. And I just need to basically uh, have an intermediate piston repeater in between, just to transfer the signal. So, downwards facing normal piston, server. And one, two, three, and redstone block. And then the pattern repeats at this point. So downwards facing normal piston, sticky piston, and so on. All right, um, then next step is connecting the TNT tubing on the main side. So now we continue at the yeah, main Skip piston at the anchor point. Also needs to be pushed down. That's why we have a slime block here. Normal piston and server here on the side. All right, now we add one, two, three, four, five, six slime blocks and a redstone block. And then we have a sticky piston. And also needs to be pushed down. So we have a normal piston again. A slime block here and a redstone block. All right, now we need to go up like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I'm just gonna build it exactly like it did here. Uh, probably can also alternate the amount of yeah, slime block or redstone block slightly, but I'm just gonna do it exactly like I did over there. So we, we here at the bottom, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven slime blocks. The next was six. And again, the sticky piston. And then we have 10 slime blocks. Four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't forget to also push this down. I need to add normal piston and the redstone block here. And now another redstone block here. And then again, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Redstone block. Sticky piston, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, redstone block, and ten again, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, redstone block. I think the last one is eight slime blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, redstone block, and sticky piston, and then yeah, we had the same height. So there was seven, six, 10, 10, 10, 10, and 8. Don't forget to also push this down. Uh, 
and there's another one missing. And it's the last one. All right. So the next step is building the TNT duping flying machines. Uh, they are you know, built every six block. All right, in order to do so, we add six more slime blocks here just to get the correct location. So three, four, five, six, seven in total. You can already add the rest of the block, but now we go down four blocks under the slime block and then would recommend to build some yeah, some, something to walk on. We usually use leaves or melons or something that could actually not interfere with the flying machine at all. Uh, obviously could also use netherrack and remove it afterwards but before you start the machine, it's also an option. Okay, then we go over five blocks and place the first TNT. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we go up and over and place the slime block shape. Here we add upwards facing observer and now we add such a slime block shape. You can add detector rails right there. Place a cobble wall and put a micro on top. Then we add a sticky piston here. And we add two slime blocks. And add another sticky piston to the top slime block. Oh, wait, other way around first the observer in case you're still playing 1.12, and then the slime block, otherwise, yeah, you would activate it. All right, and this is now repetitive. Now just keep a gap of five blocks one, two, three, four, five. And the sixth block is repeating, so we build the next TNT flying machine. Once you have all your TNT dupers, we continue with the pushing station on this side. Also, just notice that I forgot to add something to push down this sticky piston. So we add another normal piston here and we can use an observer this time. Don't need a redstone block. This is where we have the push limit. So this was just to get the measurements. Obviously, you don't need those. Um, now we add another sticky piston here next to the redstone block. And yeah, obviously, to push this down as well. So we add another observer here. And then one, two, three, four, five slime blocks, and then we go one over and add a redstone block here below. Alright, we can also add a normal piston on this side and a sticky piston on this side. We also shouldn't forget an observer here that faces downwards and a normal piston. Or to push down here directly above the uh, rail with uh, minecart on top. Uh, the next part is optional, so this prevents snow layers from activating the observer. So you only need this in cold biomes or extreme hill biomes where it could snow. Um, in case you're 100% sure there will be no snow layers, you don't need the sand block. All right. Now let's continue here. Again. A normal piston. We add three slime blocks like this and a redstone block. Then here we have another observer and a downward facing piston. We would activate this observer here. Okay, then we continue here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we go one block over here. Now the yeah the pattern's really repeating. Uh, again, here we have the downloads server piston, which is on the next duper. I'm gonna build one more. So here we have the normal piston, sticky piston. Actually, forgot an observer here. No, we don't need an observer. Ah, the red sub block already pushes it. Never mind. So a normal piston, one, two, three slime blocks, red sub block server and normal piston in case you have the snow layers put a sand on top we're almost done we're just missing the pushing stations on the other side and we also need to connect it upwards 
Alright, so we do something kind of simple again. I just need to make sure that this piston is pushed down. That's why we add another slime block, piston, and observer. And now we need to go up again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then again, redstone block. And I already prepared it because yeah, we've done the same already on the other side. So it's now seven, then 10. Also make sure you don't forget to push down the sticky piston by adding a normal piston, two slime blocks and a redstone block. So seven, 10, 10. I'm counting the slime blocks. 10, 10, 10, and 5. So this is 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 10, and once 5. All right at the top again. So we can use an observer instead. Limited by the push limit. And then we go over 1, 2, 3, 4. Another slime block, and then a redstone block. The station on this side is also completely different from the one on the other side because the TNT duper isn't symmetrical. Alright, we'll start here next to the redstone block again. We need a sticky piston. Then we add one slime block. And now an observer here on the side. Then one slime block below. Here need to attach downwards facing normal piston. Then we have another normal piston here attached to the slime block. And then we have uh, two slime blocks right there and two terracotta blocks. Then we have one, two, three. Add another redstone block, server, and another downwards facing normal block. Uh, normal piston. Alright, then one slime block, two, three, four. And here we have the next redstone block. Alright, then we can add the next sticky piston. This is at the same height, but this time the redstone block is one lower, uh, but this just works as well. Alright, I'm gonna build another one real quick. So downwards facing normal piston, slime blocks, two ter uh, glazed terracottas, redstone block, server, normal piston. At this side, here we have observer. Slime block, normal piston, one, two, three, more slime blocks, and redstone block. And here's the next sticky piston. Alright, so we're gonna have a station also every six block, like, yeah, for every TNT tube by every six block. So I have one tiny correction here. The little flying machine that goes up will connect here to the slime block. So that's why it's supposed to be on the other side. Alright, otherwise <laughs> we'd get stuck. Here at the top it shouldn't matter. Um, in the demo version I also placed them on this side, but it shouldn't matter at all. Just here it's important that you place it on this side. Okay, I'm just gonna launch the machine. So before you launch the machine, also make sure that the whole area is loaded, otherwise um, if the flag machine get, gets unloaded or whatever, then it would obviously break. So either add additional accounts, or you could also make a yeah, perma loader and chunk loading system with hoppers. Um, but yeah, just make sure that the area is loaded. All right, the auto launch machine, remove this redstone block here. By placing a redstone block later, you can also stop the machine again. All right, let's see. It starts immediately. And then bottom is launched a little later. Okay, I think I didn't build this up completely or made a mistake here. Yeah, I didn't push down this part. Right. It seems like it's fine. I hope I didn't forget any observer or something small. Okay. It's also getting sent back. I'm good so far. It seems like the machine is working. Alright, hope this uh, yeah, is useful for you. Won't ever be this easy to make a primitive, I can already predict that. Uh, so the current TNT duping methods we still have left in the game are not uh, yeah, usable in any way to make a, uh, yeah, such a machine anymore. We might get movable dispensers back at some point, maybe 1.14 or 1.15 or yeah, 
not at all, who knows. Uh, then we could make a similar machine with dispensers, but obviously this would come at a price. You need to uh, load up the machine um, yeah, with TNT items that you craft with sand and gunpowder. Uh, so we will never be able to make perimeters this effectively or cheap anymore. So if you're still playing 1.12 perfect machine, I hope we get movable dispensers at some point again, then we can make a similar machine. Which probably has the focus of being as TNT efficient as possible. Here we don't care that much since we took the TNT. Alright, I think I didn't make a big mistake with the machine. It's all working. Hope it also works for you that you didn't make a mistake. Thanks a lot for watching. See you on the next one. Bye bye.